Hi everyone, I'm Russ Hamilton. I'm a retired sergeant with California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Anyway, this is a shout out to Anthony. I decided to shoot him a quick video, see what uh, he thinks about it. And uh, anyway, um, today I was uh, rummaging around in some of my stuff and uh, I happened across uh, an old possession of mine, an old friend if you will. And as you can see, this is that. An official size and weight Acme Thunder real brass whistle. So anyway, uh, the reason that got me to thinking about things was is uh, back in the old day when I first started, 1989, at uh, San Quentin, um, almost no one had radios. Uh, most everything was done by a whistle relay system where we would have uh, one individual at a strategic position with a radio and when something happened in another part of the institution they would blow a whistle people would come running and people would be directed or redirected from there as to where they were to respond to now back then um, the one thing that we did have is we had batons back then but no OC pepper spray um, no real other uh, tools that were closely available like uh, launchers and that sort of thing and it just got me to kind of thinking about uh, where Corrections has been and uh, where it's headed. Uh, but most of all, it got me thinking about that term that we hear a lot about or we wish we heard less of. And that term is uh, prison guard. And you know, prison guards were our professional ancestors, if you will. And uh, at some point, uh, that term was done away with and nobody uses it anymore. We've gone on to different titles, different certifications and that sort of thing. And so some people today, when they hear that term, they get, you know, a little bit ticked off about it. But really, that term is uh, an opportunity we can use to enlighten and inform people as to what we are today. Now, when you hear um, a journalist say it, perhaps, the journalist is either ignorant and doesn't know that no such thing as prison guards exist anymore, or they're using it as a pejorative because they don't like us. So, yeah, I can see taking a little bit of offense at it, but for the most part, we should adopt a position of being able to be ambassadors for our for our profession, and to be able to you know move the ball forward and be able to enlighten people as to what we do, and uh, the sort of uh, the sort of duties that we're tasked with, the things that we have to accomplish to keep inmates safe, to keep staff safe, to keep the public safe. So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for you. Um, Anthony, hope you like this video. And uh, to all of, my, uh, all of my correctional brothers and sisters out there, stay safe.